Welcome back to Summit Sunrise. I'm Justine. I'm here with Jim Tillich. Welcome, Jim. Yes, thank you. Glad to always, be here. Always a pleasure to have you. Uh, it's nice to talk Jim, about art. I know. Jim is from the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. And for those of you that have not been, been there or are not familiar with Jim, you offer so many wonderful um, tidbits of culture in so many different ways. It's such a pleasure to talk to Jim here in the mornings. It's like I could just sit and talk to you for hours. I go to lots of places, have lots of experiences, and bring back good art. It's fun. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, exactly. And I, I should also mention, we, we have a furry friend here. This is my my, uh, my dog, Nez, right here, in case you're wondering what that creature is in the corner. <laughs> the little movements there. Right, exactly. Anyway, so you were telling me you have some, some artists from Russia. Yes, and so this morning I brought two. We'll have them on the screen. One is a floral okay. by Mr. Vazin. Mm -hmm. He, he's actually from the north of Russia, from the cold weather. But oh, uh, this is his work, and these are all wildflowers. And so he titled it Wildflowers, which is very logical. Right, because he's used Russia to Russia being cold, cold right. when, they, when the flowers come up, it's like the mountains. They just bloom and blossom with all this color. So he and his wife went out and picked the flowers, and he painted them one day. Oh. And uh, he told me, he said, now this is... This is good work. This is beautiful work. It's close to my heart. But he said, I just had to paint them. And his wife is shaking her head like, oh, yeah, you had to paint them. <laughs> you had to paint the wildflowers. But they're but, beautiful uh, and they're so soft. They are. He also had the idea that he wanted to celebrate children having a nice time. So he paints little kids throwing rocks in the water, fishing, uh, sitting by the by uh, the water and wa looking at their roof, like whatever. Just little kids having a good time. I can dig that. Yeah, yeah. That makes Very anyone pleasant. happy, right? And what's it, it does. And what's interesting is this is in the cold north, north of Moscow, uh, right near the Arctic Circle. Ooh. And yet he just loves the, the flowers. And he, right. even, he was a beekeeper as well. Oh so, my gosh, a man of many talents. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know how all that worked out. I don't know what the gold weather does to be, <laughs> but he he painted them as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's so cool with all of his his art. How like you were saying, how he's in the Arctic Circle. I mean, that's that's not that's not warm. That's kind of a harsh environment to live in. In the winter time, it is way cold. I went there and it was 36 below zero, oh. which made me really stop and think that. I, I like it here in Breckenridge, <laughs> and Dillon and Silverthorne. Mm -hmm. it's, it's way too cold up there because we aren't that cold here. Really. Right, right, right. Really. Sometimes we think that we are, but you have to remember we could be in the Arctic Circle. What with real Mr. cold is, right. Now, um, and you were telling me you have another artist as well um, mm -hmm. who is a German baron, but also Russian. You guys, this is such a cool story. Yeah, he and his family mm -hmm. have been in the area where Ger that Germany controlled mm -hmm. about 150 or 200, about 150 years ago. There was a major battle, mm -hmm. and at that time the lines changed. So the Krantz family, although they're German barons, became Russians, Russian citizens because of the change. And oh so gosh. with their privilege, they kept some of their privilege, mm -hmm. and they stayed there. So Mr. Krantz, the artist who I brought, who paints the beautiful snow scene that you'll see in a moment, mm -hmm. he is uh, now a, uh, a Russian citizen. Wow. Now, where he painted this, uh, he told me all about it. This is the Mosta River. It's right in between Moscow and St. Petersburg on the Mosta River. Wow. And so what he wanted to capture here, every artist paints this scene mm -hmm. because it freezes, it thaws, it's, it's cold, it's... It's, it's Russia, but as you know, the people are just lovely. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I enjoy being with them and walking out to the places that they painted. Oh, that is, what, a, what a cool thing to do. I have some photographs of, of this very area. The two trees are now a little bit bigger, but those two trees that he painted are still, still there. there. Wow. And it, it's interesting uh, seeing what they saw right. and then how they painted it. Mm -hmm. And then before Mr. Kranz passed away, he was mm -hmm. in his 90s, passed away recently, um, we went out and looked at some of the places that he painted. Mm -hmm. And it was like a memory to me, like, wow, he painted right. this 30 years ago or whatever. How yeah. cool is that, that you were able to see what they, 
what they painted yes. your own with your very own two eyes. And another thing that I thought was interesting, talking about kind of some of the um, artists from like the Soviet Union, mm -hmm. um, is how they were taken care of. And this this is a very interesting fact about um, Russian artists in general. I, I didn't know this. Yes, they were actually supported by the government. Mm -hmm. The Russian government gave them a stipend to live on. Mm -hmm. They gave them free travel on the trains all across Russia. Wow. And they had a nice apartment. Um, the, the, the charge that they had for electricity, gas, phone, everything was $8 a month, the equivalent of $8 a month. Oh my gosh. And of course this was starting, tw I mean way back there, but right. up to the last, say, 15 or 20 years ago. I started getting art out of Russia almost exactly 21 years ago. Okay. So they were, everything was paid for and they were cultivated to be right. artists if they had the skill. Excellent. So from the first grade, second grade, third grade, by the time they were in the sixth grade, basic, to us the sixth grade, right. it was already decided that they had a natural skill mm -hmm. and they were put in the art schools or the music school. How fascinating. So Russia cultivated a pianists, mm -hmm. violinists, mm -hmm. uh, dancers, opera singers, singers, right, and of all things, subways. Subways, go they figure. Want, they want to look good. Right. So all those things are quite good, even though other things aren't up to date. Right. But, but it's, it's very interesting. The culture there. The culture is outstanding. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, and you are, you're, you're, I mean, you're showing, you, you have a lot of works from um, Mr. Krantz and Mr. Vossen, and both of them, they're, they're deceased, they're no longer with us, huh? They both passed away. Mm -hmm. um, I was with Mr. Krantz once, and he was showing me one of his artworks, and it was a painting of ice fishermen mm -hmm. with a big castle in the background. Cool. Even people that live in castles like to ice fish, I guess. Cool. <laughs> so I, I, I told him, I said, were you out there fi ice fishing? Mm -hmm. He said, no, I wouldn't go out there and, and freeze myself and sit there and catch fish. <laughs> and I said, oh, well then how, how did, did you, you paint, paint this? <laughs> he laughed and he said, I guess I did get out and freeze. He says, I'll freeze for painting, but not, not for, for fishing. Not for fishing. Oh, well, go figure. <laughs> well, you guys can see some more of these beautiful Russian works of art at the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. And Jim, please, please inform everyone where they can get more information. 421 South Main, mm -hmm. right at the corner of Park and Main. And the number is 453-9500. There you go. It's right at the bottom of your screen there. So you can, you can go visit Jim and some of his beautiful Russian, Russian artists. It's always a great time to have you here on the show and talking, taking a trip down all these history, fabulous history stories. I love it. Um, guys, make sure you check, in, check it out over at Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery, and we'll be back with more Summit Sunrise right after this.